Hi everyone, it's Daisy here from Yoseka. Today's video is going to be an unboxing for the Travelers 2024 items, um, the Travelers 2024 diary items. And this year's theme is Traveler's Town. And it's so cute. Here in front of me, I have the customized sticker set, which is always popular year to year and the regular size and passport size underlays, which feature some of the cutest illustrations of Traveler's Town. For those of you who don't know um, a little bit about the Traveler's themes, every year Traveler's releases and announces a theme um, that is fictional and made up. And this year's theme is Traveler's Town. And some of the past year's themes have been Traveler's Cafe. That was actually the 20. 23 theme and the year before that they featured soundtracks in movies and they've also done famous books um, they've also done travel tools so um, these themes are the motifs that you will see travelers build upon in their stories throughout the year and they also um, create stories behind each of these uh, different narratives and these themes go along with their planner refills that are released every year. So they have their monthly refills as well as their weekly vertical and weekly memo refills that are supposed to be used with your uh, regular size and passport size traveler's notebooks. Um, which are these leather bound notebooks here. For those of you who don't know, this is a special limited edition version featuring Traveler's Records, which was another story previously told by Travelers in some of their, uh, in a previous release that they did. This is from 2022. So um, one of my favorite things, now that we've talked a little bit about the Travelers themes of years past, is that this year's theme of Traveler's Town actually builds upon a lot of the previously told stories and narratives by Traveler's Company. And they've basically put together a lot of their previous things that they've talked about, like Traveler's Records featured on this notebook here, um, Traveler's Diner, um, Traveler's Books. So a lot of these themes have all come together and you'll find all of these places, all of these concepts within Traveler's Town. Um, so Traveler's Town is this year kind of really encouraging people to get out there and see the world and that's one of my favorite things about Traveler's Notebooks is that um, Traveler's Company has made a notebook that is supposed to be a book that you can take along with you in your travels about your life whether that be physically like literally traveling like on an airplane getting on an airplane and visiting some foreign country or simply just the daily travels of your commute to work or whatever whatever it is, whatever it is that you're going about doing in your daily life, you're meant to be able to take your traveler's notebook along with you and kind of carry that adventurous spirit with you throughout life. So it's a really cute concept and every year the theme is, it goes really well with the whole traveler's notebook spirit um, of being adventurous in your daily life and kind of taking on the unknown, exploring something, um, exploring a local place. So um, I love that concept and this year's theme of Traveler's Town really, really kind of just makes me want to get out there and explore something even if it's just like a new store that I haven't been to, a new shop that just opened up, or um, a new coffee shop, whatever it is. So um, let's look at this year's theme of Traveler's Town and take a look at some of the special refills and some of the planner refills that go along with this year's theme. So first up, we have the customized sticker set, which I was talking about earlier. I'll talk. I'll start with this one because I think this is the this is one of the um, releases that people look forward to most year in and year out. So what this is is a set of you get six sheets of stickers, and this is always like the first one that you see. This has twelve different stickers, and they're foiled stickers, so they're really really glossy, shiny, but they have 
have this really kind of quality feeling to them because they're matte finished, except for those glossy foiled over parts. And on these stickers, you will find some of the attractions in Traveler's Town, which is obviously not a real place, but um, you see the ice cream parlor, the bowling alley, the little barber shop, and Something that's really consistent year in and year out with all of these depictions is that they seem to really be very retro um, and have really fun colors to them. So something like this, like um, this classic, like swirly, you know, barbershop thing. I don't even know what that thing is called, um, but that goes so perfectly in the Traveler's Town idea, in the concept. Um, and then some of the things that they have built upon that they've talked about previously in the previous themes is, for example, this Traveler's Mountain, like this, this like hiking sticker um, for Traveler's Mountain actually features a depiction of the um, holiday bears that are released every year by travelers for the past like three years. They've released charms, um, a brass charm and a leather tag featuring this mama bear and baby polar bear that come during the holiday season every year. So, so if you have been following along with the traveler story, I think you'll find like little moments of delight as you go through this year's collection. And those little bears were certainly one for me. So these are like the, the some of the stickers that you get in the customized sticker sets. You get these stickers and then you also got, um, these are some dry transfer stickers that you can just use for labeling. And these kind of work, these work like the MU transfer stickers that a lot of you already know about. You cut out the letter, the shape that you want, and then you scratch on, um, and then you remove the backing paper. And then there are, um, these are index stickers. There's a large size of index sticker. You can see the large tag over here. And then there's the small size over here. And um, they actually come with like some instructions on how best to use the index stickers. So um, on the regular size refills, the large ones can be used on the side index here or you can use them up top like this. And on the passport size refill, you can really use the small index stickers on the, um, the top side of your, uh, of your weekly refill. These are supposed to be ideally used for your weekly refills, so you can easily find the week that you're looking for. So those are the index stickers. And here's how you take them off. They're clear stickers like that. This is the January sticker. So I'll find the January start in this weekly memo right here. I'm gonna stick it on like that. And then since they're perforated in the middle, you would just fold it over like that and then you have your January index and then you would just go through and do all of the months going down this side and um, you would use the small index stickers on the, uh, the top edge of the weekly plus memo of the week of the weekly passport size planner. Okay, so that's a little look at how to do the index stickers and it's always like really pleasing for me to see everybody's index is really perfect after after like you guys all bring it in and show us your traveler's notebooks that are set up for the coming year. It makes me really happy. Um, and then some more stickers that you get. These are little clear pocket stickers that are also really cute featuring depictions and illustrations that go along with the Traveler's Town. So there's this one, which is obviously says, Welcome to Traveler's Town. And then this is kind of like a little main street within Traveler's Town. There's a Traveler's Hotel, um, which is also another release that they've done. Traveler's Books, Traveler's Diner, Traveler's Records. Um, and it says, things will be great when you're here. It's so cute. It's very like nostalgic feeling. Um, makes you feel like it's a town from like the 60s or the 70s or something. And then there's a little Traveler's Bus, Traveler's Airlines. So these are the three different clear pocket stickers. And the way you can use these is you just peel them off like this. You can just put the, 
pocket sticker in like that. Um, take this little, peel this little um, seal off. And then you can kind of put uh, whatever scrap of paper you want in there. So <laughs> if that was the scrap of paper that you wanted to keep, you can put it in there or whatever you wanna take with you through your travels. So that's how you use these little pocket stickers. And if you wanted to use them in like a non-traveler's notebook too, uh, that wouldn't be sacrilegious to me. <laughs> um, and then two more sticker sheets that you get are these clear uh, label stickers. So it's a clear sticker. You can see here they come in different colors and you can use these with the monthly refills to indicate special dates on a month. So say, or like say I wanna mark October 31st of the coming year orange for Halloween. There you have it. And you can have a different like color coded system, however you wanna do that. And then these are schedule stickers. These are schedule stickers for say you have travel plans or say you're going on a hike or you are going grocery shopping or you have a dinner date with somebody. So there's different icons for different significant uh, schedule events in your schedule. So this sticker pack I would say is very, very functional and it's also really, really fun to help set up your traveler's notebook when you first get it and you're trying to get into the right mood for 2024. You're setting up your planner. These are super fun and like very motivating because after you've set up your planner, then you'll really, really want to use it for the coming year ahead. Next up, we will look at the underlays. So these are underlays, AKA pencil boards. <laughs> they are featuring, this is the regular size here in blue and white and brown and then and this is the passport size in sort of like a turquoise with bright red and gold details. Um, also, these are featuring the different, some of the different signage that you would see in Traveler's Town. It says Traveler's Town, everything's waiting for you. And there's the Traveler's Circus, there's the um, eyeglass shop, there's a bar. Um, Traveler's Factory is there, there's Traveler's Bakery, and then on the back side of these underlays you just get some grid for you to be able to, to guide you to write in a straight line and also a straight edge um, as well as like a little measuring side over here. On the regular size, which I think this is so cute, it's a map. It's a map of Traveler's Town and it just makes me really want to go to Traveler's Town. You know, there's a little there's a little Ferris wheel there. Um, there's the Traveler's Hotel signage, Central Station for the trains. There's this is like a little hiking route and like the mountain. Here's the mountain that you would hike. Um, so this is all just like peak perfection cuteness, I, if you ask me. Um, the grid on the back of the regular size is like more of an orange, so they do make these grids in dark colors and bright colors for you to be able to see them through the other side of the page because a lot of these pe a lot of people do use them as a guide for writing in straight lines. And other ways that people use underlays are just by uh, for writing on the back side. So put putting it on the back side if you're writing here. Say you've stuck a lot of stickers in your planner and you want something straight or something flat to write on that is exactly what the underlays are for so you don't have that like nasty bump when you're writing that messes up your handwriting um, and I've also had people say Amy has said that she actually uses this to put um, to lean her hand on when she's writing to prevent ink from smearing um, so that's one way to use it as well so these are underlays which are really cute and it's also just adorable to kind of stick it into your traveler's notebooks. This is a, this is our store sample. Um, and a lot of people just kind of have their underlay stuck in there like that as a pop of cuteness. And the next kind of designed refill that we'll look at is these clear folders. These clear folders are closed on 
two sides so this is closed and the bottom side here is also closed and the open sides are here so you stick pieces of paper in like this you can stick um, coupons or travel documents the regular size is really quite perfect for boarding passes and things like that so like I said these are really made ideally for travel um, but also for just like travels throughout your life. So these clear folders are so cute. They both say welcome to Traveler's Town on the bottom and then they both feature these clear windows um, with a drawing or illustration on the clear windows. So here is um, some more of the different shops in Traveler's Town. It says, when you're alone, you can always go to Traveler's Town. And then on the passport size one, it says, once again, things will be great when you're here. Um, and then on the bottom, it says, for all the travelers who have a free spirit. And the backs look like this and the clear folder is also one that it's a storage uh, it's a storage refill it's an organizational refill so this is one that you're also really um, just meant to keep tucked into your traveler's notebook like such to store loose papers loose documents and then just for kind of like a little pop of cuteness when you open it. How how cute is that? Okay, so those are the clear folders. For anybody who's thinking about this for the first year, I think a lot of people get all of these, um, especially if you're collecting, but the most useful ones are def for me are like the customized sticker set and then also like the clear folder is also really really useful um the, the underlays are i feel like a lot of people collect the underlays for like a cute thing um and whether you really really use the underlays i don't know that's more personal next up we're going to be looking at some of the actual planner refills first up we will look at the passport and the regular size monthly refills these are both for Pretty straightforward and for all of the planner refills I will specify that these are all predated so um, it's specific to 2024 and this is the passport one that I have open and the regular size one is really comparable um, the monthly refill gives you a yearly view um, this is kind of uh, yearly matrix view which is common to a lot of planners and then it goes right into the months and it just it's just a pretty standard like square monthly calendar view and you do get some white space on the sides here to write in like you know large deadlines or special events to look forward to and it goes from December of one year all the way to January of the following year of 2025 we'll get and as I was saying before they are predated so you're not going to be able to reuse these really once 2024 is over and then you also do get like a map page which is very very makes a lot of sense for traveler's notebooks um, some conversion charts there you have travel plans which are so cute and then you do have some blank note pages in the back as well with the traveler's passport planner refills you also do get these special personalization customization stickers um, and these are only available with the passport size. Um, these are based off of actual ink stamps, rubber stamps that they have in Traveler's Factory Shop. But if you can't make it to the Traveler's Factory Shop, you can just get stickers for them and it looks like you've stamped your, your passport um, planner refill with the stamps as well. And then um, some other stickers that you can use to personalize on the covers of the page or however you want to do that. That. Actually, Traveler sent us some um, samples of how to fill out your um, Traveler's notebooks, your planner refills. So this is an example of how you would use the passport size with um, these icon schedule stickers. I think those would come really handy because you're not working with a lot of space when you're talking about a monthly refill. So the icons really signify a lot and you don't have to write in your whole plan if you're just using the icon schedule stickers. 
And here you can see also the clear um, monthly schedule uh, circular stickers in use to indicate maybe like a holiday or the weekends here. Um, people like to connote different um, colors for the weekend just to signify, you know, this is your off day. So um, this is an example of how you could use the monthly refills in the regular size and the passport size. Next up are the weekly refills. We have more, definitely more choices for the weekly refills when it comes to travelers. For the passport size, there's just one type of weekly refill. And like I said, all of these are predated. So for the weekly refill, since you're going through 52 weeks of the year for every year, all of these refills are always going to be split into two books to prevent like a really thick refill from really weighing down your traveler's notebook, which is supposed to be light and portable. So the weekly refill in passport size is a pretty standard, just like weekly horizontal refill. You have four days on one side of the week going, it's a Monday start, and then um, the three days going down the other side. And you do also have like sort of like a monthly tracking page as well, which is nice. Here's a look at the other book, July to December. So you have the two books, you have the two parts of the year, the two halves of the year split into these two books. So you would swap out the book halfway through the year. And then you also get the same customization stickers for the passport size weekly as you would for the passport size monthly sticker. So weekly in the regular size, um, you have slightly more choices. You can choose either between the weekly plus memo or the weekly and vertical, but both of these are split into two books again. So the weekly plus memo is the one that we were kind of looking at before. I put, I put the index sticker in there already. And the format of the weekly plus memo is just a weekly horizontal with a Monday to Sunday. And you get the actual planning page on the left here. And then on the right hand side of the book, you just have grid pages for you to keep notes on. You might use this page as a planning page. And you have the the clear the clear stickers there too. Um, you could also use to indicate the weekends if you wanted. A flip through of this, you get the monthly tracking pages, and then these are the weekly plus memo pages. Um, little place for you to write your name, if in case you lose your book. And then here you get the second half of the page in the second book of the weekly plus memo. So that's the weekly plus memo. Then there's the weekly vertical. The weekly vertical is very different from the weekly memo because this one actually allows you to write down vertically what your plans are for the day. And a lot of people I think might use this for logging. So um, logging your time actually as you're going throughout the day. Um, this looks like there's like, you know, also like somebody saying that they have a flight at this time and then from this time to this time they're, they're here. Um, they're going to a vintage market. Um, and so on and so forth. So this is one way you might track your travels after you are already traveling. So this would be like either at the end of the day or like as you're doing it, writing down what you've been doing at a certain time throughout the day. So that's an example of how you might use the weekly vertical. And in the weekly vertical, you do also have those monthly tracking pages. 
Um, and in both of the weekly um, regular size, these are the customization, customization stickers you would get. So they're larger stickers. This one says, welcome to Traveler's Town. When you're alone, you can always go to Traveler's Town. And this one just says 2024 trip traveler's notebook. So I think that's about it for the 2024 traveler's diary refills. This year's theme is traveler's town. And like I said, I think one of my favorite things about this year's theme is just that it really references so many of the past year's stories that Travelers has already been telling. So this is like the culmination of like the five, the past five years of storytelling done by Travelers. So I think it's really well done. And if you've been following Travelers Notebook, if you've had the Travelers, tra Travelers Diary refills since 2020 or 2021, this one will be especially meaningful to you because you'll just be looking at all the references and it'll hopefully remind you of your lives through those years as well. So um, I hope you all enjoyed this video and got some ideas on how to use the Traveler's Refills for 2024 in different ways. Let us know what you think of this year's theme in the comments, Traveler's Town, and um, let, it, let me know if I missed any of the references because I'd love to, I'd love to hear more if, um, if some of the references go even further back and you've been using Traveler's Notebook for a long time, you would know. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.